Hello, my name is Nick, and welcome to our video on lists and dictionaries in Python. This video is part of our Introduction to Python series. To make the content in this video more accessible, click the Closed Captions button or adjust the playback speed. In this video, we will learn about how to use lists and dictionaries in Python, which will span the following topics the list type in Python and the syntax for how to create one, the dictionary type in Python and the syntax for how to create one, and also how to access items from both a list and a dictionary. Let's get started. Today we're going to be talking about two new data types available to us in Python, lists and dictionaries. So far, all the variables we've used will hold a single value, whether it's a string or text a number, or a true or false value. These two new data types are ones that allow us to hold multiple values in a single variable. For instance, if we wanted three different names within our program, we would normally have to define three separate variables for each of the different names, such as, we'll give the first one a name, and if we wanted three names, we would have to create three different variables, just like this. That's normally how we would do it, but instead, using a list, we're able to hold all of these names in a single variable, and then we can write the rest of our program using that list. Then, if we ever need to add new names to our list, we don't have to add any new variables, and the program doesn't have to change, because the program will be based on the items in that list. To define a list, we start with square brackets, so we'll first start with a variable for our names. And so names will be the variable that holds the entire list. And to define a list, we start with square brackets. And inside the square brackets is where we define each item separated by a comma for each different item that we want to add. So to simulate what we have above, I'll add those same three values, each with quotes around them because each is a string still and each separated by a comma. So here we have three items within our single list. And so the names variable is the entire list itself. And we're able to access items from that list using square brackets after the variable name. And we'll pass in a number to tell Python which item order wise in the list do we want. And that item, that number, is going to start at zero. So for example, if I want the value Nick, then I need to get the first item in the list and the first item, aka zero, since we start at zero. So if I want this name, I'm going to have to access it using our names list, followed by square brackets, and then I pass in the number of the item I want to access from that list. And so the value Nick is going to be stored in that Nick variable. And similarly, if I wanted the third name in the list, Camille, then I would need to still access our names list, but I want to get the third item, but we start at zero, so that's zero, one, two. So that's going to be number two, AKA the third item in the list. So that Camille variable is going to hold the value Camille because we're accessing the third item from the list. Keep in mind that if the order of the items in our list changes, that number is going to refer to a new item. So ordering is very important when we're working with lists. For example, if I switch Jason and Camille, now when we come to line eight and I say names at number two or the, get me the third item, that's no longer going to be equal to Camille. That's now going to be equal to Jason. So keep in mind the order of the items in your list. The other main use for lists is with loops within Python, which will be discussed in the next video. Next up is dictionaries. And these are similar to lists in the fact that it's a single variable that holds multiple items. 
However, the difference is that each item is a key value pair. This allows us to look up items within our dictionary by key name and allows us to associate different data with each key, unlike a list which only contains a single value per item. To define a dictionary, we'll start with curly braces, and then each item is a key value pair. So we start with the key, which is always a string, followed by a colon, followed by the value for that key, which can be anything, even another dictionary. For example, we could create a dictionary with each key being someone's name and the value for each key being that person's age. So let's do that here. We'll create a people variable, which is gonna be our dictionary. And so we'll start instead of with square brackets, like a list, we'll use curly braces. And inside those curly braces, each item is gonna be a key value pair. So we start with the key, in this case, we want it to be each person's name. So we'll use the same names up above. So there's my name, but we're not finished with this item yet. We have our key. Now we need the colon. And on the right-hand side of the colon, we need to say, what is the value associated with that key? And the values within our dictionary are going to be the person's age. So I'll put 30 for this person. And we'll add, and notice the comma there that denotes I'm about to add a second item to this dictionary, which again needs to be another key value pair. So we have Jason as the key and 25 as the value. And lastly, we'll add Camille as our final item. And now here is our completed dictionary, which has three different values in it, three different keys. Each value associated with that key is the person's age. And so now, just like accessing items from our list, we can access items from our dictionary as well. We, but what we're gonna do is instead of putting in the number of the item we want, we're gonna put in the name of the key that we want. For example, to obtain Jason's age from that dictionary, we'll define our variable like normal, and we'll set it equal to, and now to access that item from the dictionary, we will use our dictionary variable, and we use square brackets similar to a list, but instead of passing in a number, we're gonna pass in the name of the key that we want. And in this case, we'll pass in the key JSON. And so that's gonna look up that key in the people dictionary, find the value associated with that key, 25 and then store that value 25 in the json underscore age variable and so that's the way we access items from our dictionary in contrast to a list if we change the order of the key value pairs in our dictionary as long as each key value pair remains the same the order doesn't matter since we look up the values by key name rather than by position so for example, if I was to switch Nick and Jason, this code on line 20 would remain unchanged because we're still just looking up the key Jason and the key and the value associated with Jason is still 25, even though we've put it first in the list instead of second. For more academic support resources, please read the video's description. Thank you for watching, and we hope to work with you soon.